Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me for this monthly tarot video. We are going to be looking at the general collective energy for all Pisces signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of April. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any videos I upload. Show us everything we need to see for all Pisces signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of April. Show us everything we need to see. All right. Pisces signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of April. Show us everything we need to see. Pisces signs, please. All right, Pisces signs. So we have the King of Wands upright, followed by the Page of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse we have the high priestess in reverse and at the bottom of the deck your overall energy is the knight of swords upright definitely feels like you're rushing something or wanting something to move faster than it currently is you feel very passionate about something i could tell you that much because underneath the knight of swords we do have here the knight of wands upright so you could be dealing with a fire sign here Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could also be embodying this energy, Piscean, um, wanting to rush forward towards something that you are very, very passionate about. Um, I think you're kind of just like trusting how you feel about a particular situation. I think maybe some of you have gone through some disappointments in the past, Five of Cups upright, um, but you're really not trying to allow these disappointments to cloud the optimism that you have around a particular situation. You kind of found something that lights you up, whether it is something creative, a passion project, for some maybe even a new person that has sparked your interest. Um, but like I said, there are some disappointments that you've been dealing with here in the background that you're trying not to give so much attention to, and you're kind of wanting to explore this spark that you found whether it's a project whether it's a person uh there's a spark somewhere so you're rushing towards it here now like i said you could be dealing with a fire sign because we do have the king of wands upright um if this is the energy that you are embodying you're being reminded to channel some of your inner strength don't lose faith and the self-belief belief that you have developed over time. Um, for some of you, maybe some adjustments need to be made around work and finance here since we do have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe some of you have taken a hit during um, the pandemic and maybe you, your business has kind of like been up and down if you are an entrepreneur. I'm getting here that maybe your sources of income have not been as consistent as you have hoped that they would be or that it's requiring you to invest more than you had initially wanted. Whatever this creates project is I'm really getting here that um, you you realize that in order to make money you need to be able to spend the money you have to be okay with spending the money now it might not be the same for everyone okay it could also be that you have been following your passions but your passions don't necessarily align with um, what you feel your your work is worth so there's a, a lot to do here with like really trying to study the market around this creative project or this realm that you are exploring with yourself right now um, and really trying to figure out uh, your your finances, your money situation. Um, High Priestess is in reverse here. So I think you're kind of having a hard time seeing something like seeing the bigger picture around something if your finances are not where you want them to be or the opportunities have been coming in slowly um because again we have the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck so there is like this feeling that you have to like hurry things up and rush towards a specific outcome um 
that being said, the message here could really be around um, needing to slow down a little bit because everything does happen in divine timing. Um, continuing to follow this passion, yes, but I'm getting that something may open up for you around the summertime with the Leo in the background here. You could be dealing with a Leo. Could happen during um, August, during Leo season. Um, let's pull some clarification cards. Maybe we can get more messages here. Let's take a look at this King of Wands. I am getting, though, that... Um, overworked and underpaid you're really talented you're amazing at what you do you finally found your niche and the thing that makes you really happy and gives you life but it doesn't equal what you think you need to be getting paid in order for you to be able to uh either reinvest in this thing that you're up to or for you to invest into uh, a property owning a property upsizing uh, having more money in the savings um something like that let's take a look at this king of wands upright let's clarify the king of wands please oh whoa 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 messy shuffling here <laughs> let's try that again let's try that again i'm i am getting a big focus on money work and finance though all right so we do have the high priestess upright here um I'm getting a little bit of self-doubt. On one hand, you really believe in this creative venture, this project, this thing you've been working on for some time. However, um, I think there are certain things out of your control that kind of um, have prevented you from exploring this thing to the magnitude that you feel you're able to. Um, this is going to be different for everybody, but I'm, I'm getting here. Like if you've invested a lot of time and followed your passion, followed your gut, but certain things have happened, for example, the city has closed down, then that might have prevented you from exploring this creative venture to um, its fullest because you've had to work around certain things that have caused disruption and that have kept you trapped within this particular part of this expansion of yours now that's just one example it could be whatever it is that it that applies to you in your personal life for others i'm getting here that let's say this is a romantic situation maybe you've connected with a fire sign um and you're really wanting to explore this connection deeper you're trying to follow your intuition about this however uh, there are certain things again out of your control um that are preventing this connection from going any further for some of you um maybe you're still dealing with some stuff from your past that you haven't necessarily fully let go of yet um and so this situation is just um developing a little bit slower i feel like this is a very specific message so I, i'm hoping it resonates for you all let's take a look at this page of pentacles in reverse Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the Two of Wands upright. So you've definitely taken a time out. Uh, you've reevaluated what you've needed to, um, but something has not proven to be what you wanted it to be. Like, I'm really getting here. You invested a lot of time into this situation, whether it's a person or creative venture, but you need to make certain adjustments in order for you to move forward. I really feel like you're ready for something else. You're ready to expand. You're ready to take these ideas. You're ready to take these ideas that you're passionate about and actually um, create something even more. I feel like some of you have been holding back, if I'm being honest. Like, you've had so many different... I can't get rid of the word ideas, but like you've just had so much inspiration and so many different things that you've been wanting to do and wanting to explore. But there have been certain limitations out of your control that have really stopped you from going there. And I'm getting this feeling now like of this urgency to take these next steps, whether it's to take the next steps in a particular love relationship or take the next steps in your business if you are an entrepreneur or maybe even take the next steps in terms of um creating something out of a hobby that you do but i am really getting a lot of forward motion here let's take a look at this nine of pentacles in reverse maybe what's been holding you back is the fact that 
you don't have the finances that you think you need in order to really take your thing to the next level. Nine of Cups, or sorry, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by King of Swords in reverse, Knight of Pentacles upright, and the Seven of Wands upright. You're wanting to defend a particular situation. You may be dealing with an air sign here, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Uh, for some of you, um, you're taking a little bit longer in order to make certain moves. Um, it could be that you're dealing with someone, if this is a romantic situation, someone who is willing to kind of take it to the next stage with you, but you're holding your ground here and letting them know that you're just, you're not ready for that at the moment. And you're wanting to lay out a strong foundation. You're wanting to take your time and get to know somebody here. Um, maybe this air sign that you're dealing with doesn't necessarily agree with that but that's certainly the perspective that you're taking here it could also be vice versa if you're dealing with somebody new maybe um, they're wanting to take your time but you're wanting to maybe go a little bit faster in the situation if this is a money work and finance situation i think you're having a hard time um really accepting why you're at this the place that you're at um i think you know, the first year is always the hardest is what they say, at least in business and entrepreneurship. I think you've reached a point now, though, where you're tired of being in this first year phase. Like you're you're ready to go to the next level. But there are certain things that you need to accept about your current uh, financial situation. You need to move things around or something in order to generate more income because I, I am still feeling as if there's a bit of like lack mentality here or you feel like you need more resources in order to move forward. Let's take a look at this High Priestess. Let's take a look at this High Priestess in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. There's certain things that you have to get prepared for, Pisces. I think um, you have these great ideas, but you have to plan something out a little bit more. I, I really get the whole daydreamy aspects of the Piscean energy that's very good at going with the flow. But this energy is really showing me that if you would like to create some sort of shift so that you can expand and take something kick something up a notch and take it to the potential that you know it has you really need to focus a little bit more on the details of certain things instead of just following wherever your heart takes you if you want to turn this page of pentacles upright this nine of pentacles upright um, and this queen of pentacles upright and feel financially abundant and feel more safe to make these big money moves then you have to focus on that part you got to focus on that part and prioritize that as much as you prioritize um, following your passion. Sometimes it needs to take a back seat so that you can get your money in line um, for the bigger purpose. High Priestess, please. High Priestess in reverse is clarified by Death in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles upright. Definitely someone is giving more in this situation than another person. I almost feel like you're at this point where like maybe you even feel like you need to beg. If you are in a situation where you have certain clients or you're part of a team or people owe you money, I'm getting here that... Um, you know, people are biting the hand that feeds them. I think you've been very kind to the people that you've been surrounding yourself with, um, and they've taken advantage of this kindness. And as a result of that, there's no transformation in this situation. How can you move to the next level if people are not treating you the way that you know you need to be treated so that you can level up? For example, if you have a side business for, for just an example, and these people are not paying you what you need to be paid, then how can you afford to, I don't know, open up a bigger facility or to purchase more materials that you need for your side business or to invest that money back into website development or I don't know. These are just different things I'm thinking of. It's going to be different for everyone, but I am seeing here that people are mistaking your kindness for weakness and it's keeping you stuck 
at this level. So in order to change this around and flip this magician energy upright and this death card upright, you want this death card to be upright because it will give you the transformation you need to move forward. Until this happens, until you address the way that people are kind of taking advantage of you, um, it's going to keep on happening. And so you might want to keep on rushing forward to get to that to that next stage because you really care about it. You're passionate about this thing, but you're only going to end up being disappointed all over again because um, people will only treat you the way that you teach them to. And it goes the same way for business. It goes the same way for work. If you don't want people to take advantage of your kindness or disrespect you, you really have to lay down some solid boundaries in order to get this foundation right. Let's go ahead and take a look at your Oracle messages. We're using the Inner Witch Oracle, second edition by Joseph from Grounded by the Moon. I will link his Instagram in the description box below so you can get this deck if you are interested. we have here communication okay who are the people that you need to speak to in order to get this ship back in the right direction because i kind of feel like you're going in circles here and you want to rush forward and move on to the next stage but you can't you're stuck in a loop right now so who do we need to communicate with either via phone call text message uh face to face there's some sort of um ownership and authenticity that needs to come. Remember, this King of Swords is in reverse right now, so someone isn't speaking their truth. Um, and that's part of the reason why you're still trapped. Eight of Swords upright. The magic will be found in the communication. So whoever it is that you need to talk to, set these things right before you move forward. You can't move forward if you don't talk about it. Let's get some final clarification, please. Okay, we have two. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. This rings true to me here with the high priestess in reverse. Remember what I said? You might be allowing people to uh, treat you a specific way because you feel sorry for them or you feel guilty or you're just trying to be kind and do the right thing. However, a business is still a business and your pocket is suffering because of your lack of boundaries. So we really need to start asking ourselves, why are we so afraid to make these big choices and stick to something that we know we should be doing? Um, why, why is that hard for us here? Why do we need to be the nice person in this? Because the niceness has only gotten you so far, right? And you guys already know this channel is all about keeping it real and i'm going to tell you exactly what's here in the cards and these are the messages i'm getting it's not to call you out or make you feel bad at all uh you're a very kind person but like i said people are taking your kindness for weakness so what we need now is transformation right the death card is in reverse we need transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so if this is a love relationship you need to have these conversations in order to set the ship right in your relationship now if this is a platonic situation and let's say it's between you and certain clients or you and your colleagues within the workplace um the only way to have this transformation is if you speak your truth and you talk about the things that aren't working especially if everyone is on the same page and you're trying to get to the next level doing things this way is not sustainable and it'll keep you stuck in this loop so if you want to move forward have these conversations pisces signs i hope this message resonated with you and i will catch you in the next one bye